if you are trying to take advantage of this market, like literally, this is the time. Like I don't think it gets any better than this. And I I, I give you guys in you know, a lot of these plays, uh, like literally the last two weeks. I mean, Polkadot was right down here when we were talking about. Let's actually talk about Polkadot, right? Why don't we do that? So, look, monthly bullish. This is a monthly chart right here. Uh, you're looking at the blue line is a 21 EMA. Uh, we are, you know, trying to break above the 21 monthly EMA, uh, which is going to be really good. Uh, we broke above, you know, the 10 monthly EMA. So when we did get a pullback, we actually came back to retest uh, the 10 monthly EMA. And that was, you know, like really good. Uh, yeah, so this is really, really good right here. So long term, uh, excuse me, uh, moving uh, on the higher time frame, the price of Polkadot is breaking above moving average. Really, really, really good. So if you go to the weekly, you, you're basically looking at, you know, the beginning of an incredible bull market. What we have right now is a golden cross. Uh, you guys remember, you know, I talked about this, this golden cross for the longest time now. Uh, golden cross occur around, you know, $6.66. Uh, Polkadot right now is, you know, a $7.88. Uh, let me show you the dev cross let me show you the the impact or the effect of the dev cross so we had a dev cross right here you know back in february of 2022 this was basically the time to just you know get completely out of your position uh so after this dev cross around uh was it 30 dollars if not yeah somewhere around 28 30 dollars like we ended up with this 85% price decrease. Like we literally ended up with a with an 85% dump. That was very painful. And you know, of course, the entire bear market was very painful. What you have right now is really the beginning of a bull market for Polkadot. Yeah, really, really the beginning of a bull market for Polkadot. We have our very first, you know, higher high and higher low. On the weekly time, this is our very first higher low right here. All right, so this move is going to break above, you know, ten dollars basically, and we are going to push to around these levels right here. I mean, the local targets is fourteen, seventeen. These are some local targets, but the real target is basically. You know, twenty three dollars. Twenty three dollars is the real target. So, for some of you that are trying to take advantage of, you know, the market, Polkadot is a project you should be looking at. This is, you know, just going from right here, you know, up to these highs. You already looking at a twenty five percent price increase, and then you also looking at, you're looking at a seventy seven percent. Uh, price increase, you know, going to fourteen dollars, and going to twenty-seven. Uh, excuse me, seventeen dollars. You're looking at a hundred and twenty-two percent price increase, and going to twenty-three dollars. It it only gets bigger. It gets bigger and better. You are looking at a two hundred and five percent price increase. So this is an absolutely fantastic opportunity. And it is only the beginning because if you look at this daily time frame, all right, I want you to take a look at how bullish this is. It doesn't get any more bullish than this right here, guys. But like this is, this is beautiful right here. What you're looking at right here is, let me, let me try to put it where it's a lot of easier for you to understand. You are here right now, like polka that right here is the equivalent of polka that back here all right this is around four dollars and sixty cents before this incredible move all right if you go from 460 up to these highs uh, that was you know 108 percent price increase 
Right, that is basically where you are right now. So this thing is going to go. I mean, can I put every moving average I have? Do you hey, listen? If you're not bullish when something looks like this, <laughs> I really don't know what to tell you. I mean, look, just look back right here. All right, price above moving average. Short-term moving average above long-term moving average. The white line is the 10 EMA. The blue line is a 21 EMA. The 50 line, uh, the green line is a 50 EMA. Let me show you the same outlook in a bear market. In a bear market, you have the opposite of that. You have the short-term moving average first. You have the other one second, and you have the long-term after. So 10, 21, 50. Let me show you in the bull market, the last bull market right here. Just look how, oops, oh my gosh. Just look how beautiful this is right here. You know, going from $5 to yeah, 50 bucks. It's just, you have to take advantage of what's in front of you. All right. You have to take advantage of what's in front of you. I'm literally, I'm literally showing you this right now in real time. This is not costing you anything, not a single dollar. Just analyzing the market. If the market is bearish, we are going to talk about why the market is bearish. Right here, the market was bearish, and we talked about that. Right now, the market is bullish, and we are talking about that. The best thing that you can do right now is get into a position and do absolutely nothing. If you are already in a position, the best thing you can do right now is do absolutely nothing because this is going to be an incredible bull market. Like it is going to be incredible. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm thinking about selling my poker and buying Moon River. Uh, listen, I wouldn't blame you. Do you know how many times I thought about selling my poker and I just, I just can't pull the trigger because of this setup right here. I'm like, I'm like, surely this thing has got to move. Surely we are going to pump. But I think, you know, this is a very big mistake I'm making. Like, honestly, like, do you know how many times I thought about, all right, I've had enough with Polkadot. Let me, don't be surprised if one of these days, uh, you know, I come here and I tell you that I sold, you know, my entire Polkadot. Listen, as soon as he's, if I come, if I come across, you know, something that may go crazy, yeah, I'm just going to take my profits and, and just peace out with the project. I, I, I was, listen, I was looking into Zeta, but I'm like, all right, if I really wanted to pick up some Zeta, I should have, you know, right back here. But listen, even right now, to be honest, you know, you're still looking at a project that could potentially, because the thing is, when it comes to something like Zeta, like you don't really know what it's going to do in the bull market because it has actually never experienced the bull market. So yeah, it's one of those things where it's very hard to predict. Yeah. And I have a, you know, Polkadot is not my number one anymore, but it's uh, it, it's a it's a great size. Like if I was to put what I have in Polkadot into something else, it could potentially turn into like if I can get into something else that could potentially do a twenty or thirty x, it could potentially turn into yeah, a lot of money. I guess yeah, not a million dollars, but like a good. A good amount. Uh, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe if you are you know, new here. Uh, make sure you are smashing the like button. Uh, make sure you are smashing that like button. Yeah, the, just, the thing with poker that is, I don't like the whole idea of Kusama. You know, I think Kusama takes, you know, something away from Polkadot in terms of, you know, market share, because, you know, if you actually think about it, Kusama is where the profits are going to come from, because Kusama is the place where, you know, these parachains are going to experiment, 
you know, before they go to poker, that 